Another underused feature of InDesign is the ability to add colored labels to page icons in the Pages panel. You can use color labels for a wide variety of page identification, workflow tracking, and document management systems that previously required frequent thumbnail printouts, spreadsheets, or third-party software. For instance, think of an annual report or proposal. Typically, such documents contain materials written by different departments or individuals. Spreadsheet information might come from accounting or finance, narrative copy from editorial or copywriting, and still other departments might contribute photographs, blueprints, diagrams, other materials. These departments deliver their final content at different times. Thus, you may want to color code pages whose content is coming from accounting or finance in green, those that are the responsibility of editorial or copywriting in blue, and so on. Or maybe you use colors to denote various stages of page completion, such as green for ready to go to press, or locked, yellow for first proof sent, red for changes pending. You might even use color labels to augment master page indicators on document pages. Here, I've got a few pages already labeled. You can see I've got orange, green, and red, and I could change these at any time to indicate status. And it's very simple. Select either a page or a spread, right-click, page attributes, color label, and then pick one of the colors. Develop your own system. You can also tell it to use the master color. So if I have made 3CV right here, lavender, then all of the pages that are assigned to that master page that I haven't overridden directly, like these two green ones, adopt the master page's color tag. And in that way, I can create a visual tracking system. I don't have to go through each page and examine it and figure out, is the copy finished? Is this the final version of the copy? Is this the high-res version of the image or a low-res FPO? I can label the pages so that I know exactly what state they're in, and I can do it in the document without having to put it all on a whiteboard and track it that way. You can also just Use the colors to denote different sections of a publication, if that makes sense to you. The point is, the color labels are available. Why not use them to help make your life and work a little bit easier?